Hey friends and welcome back. So in today's vlog, I thought I would take you along with me as I go throughout my day. I feel certain that nothing I am doing is super exciting. However, I love watching other moms tackle their days and manage their day-to-day -day lives. So if that is something that you like to watch as well, then I would love for you to stick around. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley and I'm thrilled to have you here. I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mama to some amazing kiddos. A couple of our kids have already graduated high school, so that leaves me with homeschooling Grayson, my 15-year-old, Jackson, who is 12, Mikaela is 10, and our sweet Isabel is 9, but she is not homeschooled. Our days are also filled with therapy sessions for Mika and Isabel, who have special needs but are super amazing. All right, let's get this day started. So I've just created a new morning routine for myself and it is working so well. So I thought I would share it with you all. Um, it is taking some discipline, but the payoff is great. You see, I'm not a morning person. However, I am working hard to create new habits and routines to rewire my mind and my body to be a productive morning person. My alarm goes off at 6 a.m. and then again at 6.05. My main goal with this new morning routine is to rise early so that I have time to wake up slowly and on my terms instead of being woken up by the kids. Also, a goal is to get my workout in before starting school and to start school by 8.45 to 9 o'clock. Now look, I'm not a strict regimen person, but I am finding that if I have some sort of routine, then I guess you could say my brain just functions so much better. I am in a better mood because I am being productive and not just flying by the seat of my pants. Part of my morning routine is stepping outside for anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes. I saw another YouTube vlogger implement this into her morning routine and I thought it was genius. With the fall season upon us, the cooler temperatures make it much more enjoyable to step outside first thing in the morning and not start pouring sweat. Um, another thing that I'm trying to implement is just reading more and I've become obsessed with over which book should I be reading and I've just finally narrowed it down to I'm going to finish the book that I've started. I've got about 50 pages left and then I'm just going to start in the New Testament and start reading the Bible. What greater book to um, fill my mind with um, the words of Christ first thing in the morning. So that is a discipline that I am going to have to work very, very hard at. Okay, y'all, it's 7.30, so it's time to get my workout clothes on very quickly, wake the boys up so that they can get moving while I go work out for an hour. This new routine has been working so well. I can't tell you how good it feels to get my workout completed by 9 a.m. and just check it off of my to-do list. The boys have strict instructions to eat breakfast if needed and start their Bible curriculum by 8.45. So by the time I return home around 9.15, they've already gotten in school mode, which takes a load off of me. Thank you. 
around 9.15 or so, I return home from working out. And yes, I am pretty sweaty. And I know this is kind of gross, but I normally just hang out in my workout clothes. Because as soon as I walk in the door, there's plenty of things to be done. And the boys are typically needing me for, for school. Mikaela is now up and moving too. And so I have to feed her little belly with some good breakfast and get her started on school as well. Typically, when she's eating breakfast, I go ahead and I put something in the crock pot for dinner if we don't have any dinner plans, but I'm super excited because tonight, Addison and Rainey are actually going to grill us some steaks and burgers, so the crock pot is not needed tonight. Oh, sweet little Miss Isabel. She decided to sleep in late today. Um, she is the cutest thing, but let me tell you, she does not like to be woken up. For anyone wondering, Isabel has learned a new skill, and that is to crawl out of her baby bed, and she does it multiple times a night. So to keep her safe and to keep Mama and Daddy asleep, we purchased this canopy tent off of Amazon that keeps her enclosed, and it works wonderfully. It's about 12.30 and everyone is hungry. Um, lunches around here are very relaxed. Emerson is normally in and out all day, so she is rarely here for lunch. The boys are very independent and they pretty much just kind of fix whatever they want. And Mika Ella will normally just kind of eat what Jackson fixes himself. Since I am on a strict eating plan today, I chose seasoned salmon with some roasted vegetables and it was super good.
finished with homeschooling and lunches, we all pitch in and get some chores done. Mika normally helps fold the laundry and she cleans her room. Jackson and Grayson pretty much help out with whatever I request of them. Normally it's um, the dishwasher, taking out the trash, cleaning up their bedrooms, maybe doing some vacuuming. So we all just work together and get the chores done. And that is definitely one thing that kind of clears my mind and helps me to function better throughout the day. looking a little more presentable and get out of these sweaty clothes. So Stan just woke up and he already left for work. So while I was getting dressed, Mika Ella asked to make my bed. So she did her best, made my bed, and I have to say I feel like she did a really good job. Well, Isabel is at therapy session. I had to make a quick trip to Walmart to pick up just a few groceries. Like I said earlier, Addison and Remy are grilling steaks and burgers for us tonight. So I offered to pitch in and bring drinks and desserts. So that is what all this junk food is for. <laughs> um, so I decided to keep it very easy and we went with boxed brownies and chocolate chip cookies. And then we also picked up some Bluebell ice cream. mama right here some days are very busy some days are not very busy and I feel like today was a very busy day just with constant going and then you add in vlogging it's it's a lot so I'm pooped but it's about seven o'clock we're at Addison's um, he is grilling burgers and steak and we've got a few yummy sides to go with it so we are fixing to sit down and eat um, so we're gonna close the vlog out here if you liked this kind of video Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Let me know if this is content that y'all like. Um, say that again? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Anyways, we're going to close it out here because Mama's hungry and tired and um, I really don't have anything else to do tonight other than going home, editing this vlog, and putting kids to bed. So, that's it. Thank y'all for joining us and we'll see you next time.